Hi friends. Um, I wanted to share an experience I just had at the gas station. I was actually just about to pop out of the car, but the Lord said share this. Um, I was going to go get gas and usually I don't have cash and so everything happens for a reason, but I had cash and I wanted to put $20 on number five, but that was the gas station I pulled up to. And um, I walked in and there was a gentleman in front of me with his son trying to buy a couple things and he kept swiping his card and his card kept getting denied and the teller was saying insufficient funds, insufficient funds and the gentleman kept getting upset because I don't think that he spoke English and I don't think that he understood what insufficient funds even meant and so um, the son had to explain it to him and interpret it to him. I don't know what language they were speaking but it just kept getting like more escalatory <laughs> And the teller kept looking at me like, oof, I'm about to lose it. Like he was getting so, so frustrated. And um, I just, you know, I just smiled and, you know, it ended up being paid by another card and the gentleman left and this guy that was the teller, um, he raised his arm and I saw a huge tattoo of a key with three different colors on it. And it was very, very cool. And I said, hey, what are those, what does that mean? He's like, well, I'm Irish. This is an Irish key and the three different colors represent father father son and holy spirit and i said wow that's really cool can i take a picture of it i'm gonna include it up there for you guys um and i was like well hey you know the good thing that you know the father son and the holy spirit and you know i know that was frustrating and he just wanted to vent and i could tell he was frustrated and i said it's good that we don't have insufficient funds because we know the lord and he just kind of nodded and he's like you know i just try to be a good person and i try to live right but it's so hard People walk in here and he was already upset when I scanned something and then he was upset about this and people make it so hard and da 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 and he just wanted to vent and I listened and I said, can I pray for you? And he said, um, well, it's not me that needs prayer, you know, I have other things to worry about. Like, I don't even know if I can keep a roof over my head and times are tough, but here's all these people and he just wanted to complain and, and I said, well, I'll pray for you anyway and I left and as I got into the car, the Holy Spirit was talking to me about sometimes we think it's the other person that needs prayer because things are tough or rough but we too have the ability to control and respond you know maturely and and really watch our response so that we don't react and it is really us that needs prayer and so that we don't always point the finger onto the other person and just in general i was thinking about and the holy spirit was saying do you see how many opportunities we have to minister every single day you weren't going to go in you usually don't have cash but yet here you are you witnessed this and now you can pray for this man and so i just urge you guys to reach out speak out pray for someone and just even lend your ear if you need if you if